Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer and in this tutorial we're going to look at logical operators. Now you can see here I've got some code. Um, this It isn't necessary that you know this but this was in the last tutorial and it would really help um, if you knew that before moving on to this tutorial. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll delete let's delete just this else if right here. So basically what we did is we asked them how old they are and then uh, we set their age equal to whatever they type in by using console.readline and we took that console.readline and converted it to an integer and uh, we said if their age is greater than or equal to 21 then we're going to do console.readline you can legally drink and then just console.readline to pause the program so let's go ahead and come up here and we will ask them what their name is so console dot right line what is your name and we'll just do string name is going to be equal to console dot read line so whenever they type in their name and press enter it's stored as name so let's just say if age is greater than or equal to 21 now what we want to do, instead of making an if statement inside of this and saying if their age is greater than or equal to 21, then we're going to move on to this next if statement and if name e equals something else, then go ahead and do that. Well, we don't have to do that. We can use logical operators. Now basically what this is, is and or or. Now there's other stuff that you can learn about, um, such as exclusive or, um, uh, other stuff like that, but that's not used in C sharp for the most part. At least I haven't seen it yet. So we're just going to be focusing on and and or. So if the age is greater than or equal to 21, and the name is equal equal uh, to let's say time Tim, then it'll say you can legally drink. So we'll go ahead and run this, and see if we type Tim and 21 it'll say you can legally drink because both of these values are true and both of these values have to be true for it to run this code right here if 21 if age is greater than or equal to 21 and name is not equal to Tim then it won't run and I'll show you that so if I type in my name and even if I'm still 21 it's not gonna say anything now what we can do is um, we can use the or operator so we do this by typing two straight up and down lines. Now if you've learned C++, this is exactly the same. So basically what it's saying, if age is greater than or equal to 21, um, then go ahead and run this. Or if name is equal to Tim, then run this. Both of the, Either one of these values can be true. So if, if they're not older than 21 and their name is equal to Tim, they can still, it'll still say you can legally drink. Or if they're um, older than 21 and they're not their name's not Tim it'll still say it so let's go ahead and say Tim and let's say Tim's 13 Tim can legally drink for some strange reason but if we do um, Sam and Sam is 23 even though the name is a Tim since it's using the or operator it'll still say that I can legally drink so go ahead and practice with logical operators, conditional operators, and some other stuff that we've worked on in the previous tutorials. And once you've got that down and you're not going to forget it, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.